Hey, Soph. I need your help. Okay. You need to be confident. Boys like that. Ugh, I'm such a lost cause. How am I ever going to get him to like me? Bitch, you didn't actually tell me who you're crushing on. Uh, uh, no one. Don't tell me it's one of the rich boys. I'll admit it, though. They're honks. Ew. <laughs> Imagine if it was Jack. It'd be such a disaster. Crap. This was such a cool date idea, Max. Thanks, babe. Bonus, you get to see me with a wet shirt on. Oh, shush. <laughs> what did you do to me, Max? Huh? What do you mean? I usually like quiet boys. Not that I have any experience with relationships, but... You... You're different. The complete opposite of what I was looking for in a boy. Yet, you still managed to sweep me off my feet. I guess. I treat people the way I want them to treat me. Up until I got into our school, everybody always mistreated me. I was always that guy who nobody wanted to talk to. I'm so sorry to hear that, babe. I guess Layla is so close to me because she saw what nobody else could see in me. She approached me with open arms and an open heart. So, basically Layla taught you how to love yourself the way I love you. Y you love me? Of course I do! Sweetie, I need to talk to you. Do you have some time? It's rather important. Sure, Mom. What's up? <sighs> Has your father troubled you in the past year? Actually, yes. I received a letter from him at the end of the school year. It was an apology for his absence. He actually is on the island. What? Perhaps it's time for you to know what actually happened between... Me and your father. I was young and clueless. And then I met him. A tall, muscular, handsome young man. His green eyes immediately grabbed me. You've got them from him, honey. We went out on several dates, so... <laughs> he was a charmer for sure. One thing led to another, and... I thought everything was fine. I thought I was in the clear until I began experiencing pregnancy symptoms. I had the option of abortion, but something told me to keep my baby. And I'm glad I did. Look at the amazing daughter I have. You are the best thing that has happened in my life. I sent a letter to your father, Spencer. Surprisingly, he moved to America. We lived together for one year. And then, one rainy day, I came back from work. The only thing that was left of your father was a note. <laughs> he left us, honey. And now fate has had it that we've met again. Mom, I... I'm so sorry that this happened. He doesn't deserve us. He really doesn't. Nevertheless, I arranged a meeting with him. I want to talk to him. But mom... Trust me on this one, Layla. I'll handle the situation, and I promise I'll tell you what happens. Can I meet him too? Your father isn't a good person, Layla. I suggest you stay out of this. B but Please, trust me on this one. You won't let me, I will see him myself. Whoa, sexy American lady. Where are we off to? Uh, oh? Ah, it's you. You can't mistake me, mate. Can I help you with something? Hmm, 
Actually, I am searching for Pirate's Desire Restaurant. Oi, I know the place. Follow me. I'll get you there in no time. Uh, didn't your gang chase me and my friends with a baseball bat? That was like so last week. No hard feelings, babes. Plus, I can't stay mad at a cutie like you for long. What were you doing with these punks anyway? To be honest, they kind of seem like better people than you. Eh, I promise you'll change your mind. What the fuck? Yo, it's all jokes. No need to act like I was really gonna kiss ya. Sure. Please, leave me alone. The restaurant is like two minutes away. I'll walk you there. Ah, my love. As creative as always, calling me to talk right on the spot where we first met. I am not your love anymore, Spencer. I think you made that pretty clear once you left your family in the dust. Do you really think I ever loved you? I slept with you when we were young, Vanessa. And then you sent me a letter saying that I'm going to be a father. Don't you dare disrespect me or your daughter! What did you call me here for? I have little patience left. Not the only little thing you have. What? So that's him? Whoa, I really got my eyes from him. Huh? What do you mean, him? That's my dad! Does that mean... I am your half-brother? Ah! I tried a hit on you! A hit on my sister, man! Oh my god, please do not put it that way. So, what now, half-brother? Guess we should see each other tomorrow? After all, we are siblings. It wouldn't hurt to try to know a bit about ourselves. Sure. Meet me at the West Island Dock tomorrow at sunrise. So what did you want to see me about? I want answers, Spencer. To what? I thought everything between us was transparent. Clear? You vanished for years, and now you come here and start terrorizing Layla. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my daughter wants to see me. I am her father, after all. Your daughter? Just because you got me pregnant with her doesn't mean you're a father. Being a parenting figure means to actually raise your child. To spend time with her. To show her you're there. Not just disappear. <laughs> if we were going to blame ourselves, being a mother is more than just having a kid. And what do you mean by that? I had my needs. You didn't satisfy them, Vanessa. Hence, I dated other women. You... what? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Just so you know, I will get my daughter back. Hey, how are you? Hey, babes. Ooh, what you up to? Nothing important. Wanna go surfing? Sure. Let me just get my swimsuit from the hut. Aww, are you scared of getting your clothes wet? That's the only way you can get me wet, Kai. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking at? Oh, but I don't know how to surf, pretty boy. I'm wondering what you can teach me. Oh, maybe I can. I was talking about surfing, Kai. Aw, oh, man. Wait for me! Yes.